In this study, lettuce and radishes grown in the greenhouse and field plot studies from critical control point three were harvested and analyzed. So for our greenhouse study, where we're growing um, different, uh, a leafy green vegetable, so a lettuce, a root vegetable, radishes, and uh, another type of vegetable, a brassica, so a broccoli. We're growing them in the greenhouse and we're looking to see how many of the bacteria that are coming from compost from those cows that we earlier dosed well, with antibiotics, how much of those microbiota are transferred over to those growing plants. One recent study of a range of crops suggested some uptake of antibiotics in manure amended soil, but at very low levels. Other studies have examined transfer from manure to crop and have suggested that transfer of certain antibiotic resistance genes between bacteria may be enhanced in the rhizosphere, where the plant roots exist. However, there is a lack of information on antibiotic metabolites and how compost soil interactions might influence bioavailability of the antibiotics, antibiotic resistance bacteria, and antibiotic resistance genes. Lettuce, radishes, and broccoli were selected as models in this study because they are commonly consumed raw and their organic production uses compost and manure. In the lab, we took bacterial samples from the soil and plant surfaces and grew them in culture plates that were partially filled with nutrient auger to provide the space and nutrients necessary for the bacteria to replicate and incubate. Plates were then prepared with different types of antibiotics added to the media in order to estimate the numbers of resistant bacteria. Another procedure called quantitative polymerase chain reaction was used to count the number of antibiotic resistance genes corresponding to the different antibiotics used in this study. We looked at determining if residual antibiotics left in compost can lead to more resistant bacteria on vegetables and if composting presents advantages over raw manure for reducing the spread of antibiotic resistance. This study will provide guidance on three objectives, how composting affects plant uptake of antibiotics, antibiotic resistant bacteria, and antibiotic resistance genes, if certain types of crops, radishes, lettuce, and broccoli are more susceptible to being colonized by antibiotic resistant bacteria, and if certain soil types can help mitigate tendencies of vegetables to be colonized by antibiotic-resistant bacteria.